Thank you very much, Natalie, for joining me. Um, really, really do appreciate it and appreciate your time as well. I just wanted to start by asking you, um, so with regards to your birth story that we're going to chat about, is it, um, was it your first child, your second child, third child? Um, I want to ask you, do you want me to share my first or my second? It's up or... to you. It's to <laughs> totally, up, totally up to you. I mean, um... I think, yeah, but per perhaps um, we had, we already had a first, first time mum. Okay. Um, so maybe do your second one, perhaps? Sure. Yeah. yeah, and that one's pretty fresh. He's 10 days old. Um, oh. He's actually right beside me. So if you see me turning my head, I'm just, I think he's going to go to sleep soon. Oh, anyway. oh. Yes, oh he's oh, wonderful. Fresh. Well, yeah. I, I appreciate your time even more then because obviously you're, <laughs> you're right in the newborn period at the moment. So yeah. I'll, I'll try not to keep you for, as long, for too long. Um, exactly. So what I really want to know is, you know, what gestation were you when you went into labour? Did you go into labour naturally? Okay. Was you induced? Was it a cesarean? Was it natural? So fire away and just um, okay go for um it. I'll, I'll try not to talk too too long and just let me know if you want me to expand on anything okay. um so basically i was exactly one week overdue i was 41 weeks mm -hmm. um when my son was born and it was all natural <laughs> from okay. um i was not induced basically they were they told me um if you're if you're 10 days overdue, then we'll induce you. Um, but before then, no. So, cause I had a very healthy, normal um, <laughs> pregnancy and everything. So there right. was no reason to be induced. Yeah. Um, and with my first, I was 10 days early. So, oh, I was so you weren't expecting to go so long then, I suppose. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't. And I was pretty surprised that every day that went by, I was like, this is so weird. I'm waiting mm. before I was like off guard, you know, anyways. Um, so yeah, basically the night I went into labor, I had a lot of like, I would say a good, maybe six hours of early labor where I wasn't even sure if I was in labor. Um, I was having very short. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <Little> puppy noises. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was in labor. I was having very short, um, contractions they were maybe like 15 to 30 seconds um every 15 minutes you know then they would be every 10, 20 minutes and every 10 minutes very sporadic but i knew something was happening so i just let you know let it be um so was you so was you at, was so was you at home at this time was you at home? yes and what, yeah, and what was, what was you doing to kind of pass the time and cope with things um I just living my normal life, you Very know, nice. my son was in daycare, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I, I was kind of home by myself. I would I clean the house a bit because I knew like once baby's here, I'm not going to do that all mm. the time. So <laughs> the nest, nest, um, as we like to call yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hardcore nesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that night, my husband and I, we went to Costco. Uh, I don't know if you know what Costco is. It's like a big... Yeah, we have one. We have oh, one in the UK. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so we just like walked around did some groceries and then they started kind of picking up like every I think every seven minutes they were coming and my midwife had told me she's like once they're every five minutes give me a call but because I I just felt like they were coming on kind of faster all of a sudden I gave her a call and she said the same thing she's like okay call me again mm -hmm. um, in an hour and see how you're doing um so I did that and then they had picked up a little bit I would say every maybe once every five minutes and oh. she's like okay come on into the birth center which is right across from the hospital okay. um and so she we went there she checked me she's like you're at a three i can stretch you to a four she's like your cervix is soft because i had a previous child mm -hmm. before so she's like um i can take you to a four and then you can walk around and see um what happens mm -hmm. so she did that. We walked around just the parking lot. And this was at like um, about 11 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. Um, and then, um, okay, so then she checked me again and she's like, I can take you to a five. But she's like, in order to be admitted to the hospital, because I wanted an epidural. So okay. we have to go to the hospital for that. Um, so had, had, in order to be had you planned to have an epidural before you went in? Because obviously, if you was, if you was intending to go to the birth center, I'm, I'm yeah. presuming they don't do epidurals there. Or was it yeah. something that you just decided mid labor? Actually, no, I want an epidural now. I've changed my mind. 
right after I had my first son, um, right. who was all natural, I was like, I'm getting an epidural next. <laughs> <laughs> so I okay. knew from the start that I wanted That's an epidural. What you wanted. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, and they had warned me, they're like, before, because you had a quick birth with your first, um, mm-hmm. you may not be able to get an epidural with your second because you'll likely be going quicker um, yeah. the second mm-hmm. time. So, but, and so basically, if I went to the birth center where the midwife was, I could um, do it there, like give birth there with gas. Um, okay. mm-hmm. um, and so, but I was like, no, I'm going to risk it and go to the hospital for an epidural. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. And it didn't end up working out. <laughs> oh, so, anyways, so, so you didn't get the epidural or? No. 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 <laughs> okay. It was way too quick. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Because in, every hospital varies. Um, but at the hospital where I live, um, you can't be admitted unless you're five centimeters and in active okay. labor, mm-hmm. um, meaning your water has broken mm-hmm. and like, oh, right. okay. yeah. Right. Um, so that's interesting came... because not, not, not everybody's waters break at five centimeters. Some women's waters don't break at all. So that's right. interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, I think if you're five centimeters and like you're having regular contractions, like they yeah. want to see you having contractions. You're in established labor. Five... Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. and so she's like, why don't I break your water? Then you'll be in active labor. And mm-hmm. so I was like, okay. Um, so then she did that. She broke it in the clinic. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as she did that, it was like the contractions like, were just bang. on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So very fast. Yeah. Um, we went from the clinic to the hospital, just right, literally right across the street. Mm-hmm. Um, and I went from five centimeters to 10 centimeters um, in an hour. Wow. Yeah. And then I had an intense. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Very intense. <laughs> and it was, it was strange because I was like, um, okay, I've done this before. I know how this feels, but this feels quicker than it should. Mm-hmm. And before I knew it, I was like, I feel like I have to push. And she's like, you do? Okay. She, so she texts me. She's like, yeah, you, you're at a 10. You're ready. Yeah. Okay. Cause I was at the point where I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like I'm, I'm done. Like I'm going to die. <laughs> but you know, but you know what I, I say that to, say this to everybody. Um, when you get to that point and I said yeah. it to the last lady that I, that I chatted to about her birth as well. When you get to that point where I can't take it anymore and I've done it, I did it for all three of my, my natural births. I want an epidural. I can't do it anymore at that yeah. point. I was fully dilated and the baby's yeah. <laughs> about to come. So I think a lot of yeah. women do find that when they get to that point where, you know, I mean, if the labor is progressing normally, of course, and it hasn't been going on, you know, 24 hours or something, but if it's progressing normally and they get to that stage where I can't, I just can't do it, can't do any more. That's yeah. often the stage when the baby's ready to come, you know, yeah. um, and it surprises you, but it's, it's like almost like your body's shutting down and saying, you know, that's it. <laughs> I've had, I yeah. want to go home now. You know? And it was, it was like an involuntary feeling I had. I was like, mm. like, you're just, you need to push and you need to yeah. get it out. And yeah. it was, um, I was very much remembering, like, be present. Like, I know it's crazy to say this, but try to enjoy this mm-hmm. experience. Like, as excruciating mm-hmm. as it is, it's, like, crazy at the same time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, I was at a 10 and they were just on top of each other. And so she's like, just push whenever your body tells you to push. Mm-hmm. So that's what I did. Um, they would count to 10 for me, but she's like, don't worry about the counting. Like if no, you don't yeah. want to go till 10, that's okay. Like just, just go um, with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. But she did say like, um, the more you give it, the, the quicker this baby's going to come. Like don't, mm-hmm. don't push. Cause the head's going to come out a little bit and then it's going to come up again. Then it's going to come out. So mm-hmm. she's like, make every push count. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I remember her telling me that. And I was like, okay, I don't want to stay here all day. Let's get this baby out. <laughs> wow. um, and it was, and, yeah. and did you have, did you have mid, do you have midwives in Canada or is it doctors that deliver your babies? Um, I don't know what the percentage is, but in my circle, most people choose a midwife. Okay. Um, you would go with an OB if you have a high risk pregnancy. Mm-hmm. Um, Similar to you, England. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you don't um, trust a midwife and that's totally fine. Some people mm-hmm. are like, they just, they a, don't even think about getting a midwife mm-hmm. or they think that they cost money. Um, they're totally covered here. Right. Um, or they're just like, you know, for whatever reason they want an OB. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
but in the region where I live, there's, I think, five or six different midwifery clinics that you can go to. Um, so they're quite popular here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting because I think it's different to how it is in the States. I'm going to be doing a few birth stories with women from the States. So it'll be interesting yeah. to, to kind of to, to, to see what the differences are, you know. For sure. so, so you were, um, so you got to fully dilated and you were pushing. And so how long was you pushing for? I pushed for about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, I pushed an hour for my first son and then an hour for this little guy here, which okay. I wasn't exactly expecting. I thought I was, I, it'd be like three pushes and he's out. Cause you hear about that happening, right? With the second mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. It can, it can, it can, it can, it does, but not, not for everybody. Everybody's different, you know? It, so. it is exactly. Yeah. You really don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, obviously like the head was the hardest part and I was like, I felt so helpless and hopeless mm -hmm. at times because I was like, it's not happening. This kid's mm -hmm. never coming out, like whatever. Um, but once the head was out, she was like, if you want to catch your baby, you're going to reach down. Um, no, so I gave one the push I and I was yeah. able to put him right on my chest. Oh, that's wonderful. Was, yeah. And I, I, I told her before that I was like, I want to try to catch him if possible. Mm. But I, I kind of, didn't expect that at the same time I was like I had to be prepared to, for it to not happen yeah um, but I'm so glad I did oh that is absolutely amazing that sounds like that sounds like a really lovely experience and I think yeah. from the from the smile on your face <laughs> I think yeah you know it, it, it sounds like it was a you know it, it was a positive experience for you and especially ca catching your baby at the end as well it makes it kind oh. of all worthwhile doesn't it <laughs> it's so amazing um yeah. and I have it on video as well I called my sister at the last second and I was like can you come to the hospital and yeah take this I'm like or when else am I gonna do that fantastic so Great yeah it was on. amazing oh well uh, Natalie that's absolutely wonderful thank you very much for sharing the, your story with me um, and yeah. before I before I let you go because I'm sure you need to feed baby in a minute um <laughs> Do you have any um, tips or anything for, for any mums, any second time mums, any mums that are about to have their second baby, for, for, for example, anything you want to, any words of wisdom you want to offer? Um, I think because I've had two natural births, mm -hmm. like med-free, I should say, because um, I hate saying every birth is natural. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I would say in terms of pain management, mm -hmm. um, if you're not going to be having any medication, um, welcome the pain in like literally imagine <laughs> it as a person being like come on come on in like, <laughs> just do your job because each contraction yes, take has me a in. purpose yeah yeah and you're just like you're one step and closer also, exactly um and don't worry about the hours that's gonna come if it takes hours just take it contraction by contraction um also relaxing your jaw and like your entire face and even like going like uh, like mm -hmm. making like the most weirdest faces, you do, don't you? and weird relaxing. faces and weird noises as well <laughs> yes it'll yeah. come um because i found that when i relax my face and my jaw it hurt less mm. um okay that's it, interesting it relaxes your whole body so yeah. i would just say welcome the pain come on in and then let it go and then relax your face that's wonderful that's perfect <laughs> advice <laughs> really. I hope it helps someone <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it will I'm sure it will <laughs> okay well that's lovely thank you so much Natalie I really really appreciate it I um, appreciate thank your time you. tonight or this afternoon where, where you are um yeah. so take care and I will um I will shoot you over the video shortly okay thank you so much all right take care then bye, bye. see you bye